All right, we are gonna be installing the Effergy electronic monitor so you can uh, monitor your electrical consumption in your house. Um, first thing we did is I went over to the pole there and that box underneath the meter has a shut off and I shut off the power to the house. Not everybody it was shut off to their fuse box, so be careful when you're doing this because even though you shut off the main down here, the two big cables coming in still are live unless you have a shut off at the pole. So, we'll start by unscrewing the faceplate of your electrical meter or electrical box. Some screws. This is a square D 100 amp electrical box. screws out. And the face plate just pops right off. Okay, so when you're looking in here, you'll have your two big wires there, one on each end that go up to the power bars. Those are your main wires. And then you see the one over here goes to the grounding bar. You want to put the clips on these two big ones right here. So, these are the clips they supply. Fairly simple. They just pop right open. Stick it on there. Sure, I'll be able to get the face plate back on. Right, and here is the second one. This one might be a little more tricky. Uh, I'm gonna have to pause the video to get it and then I will come back. Actually, I'm gonna try to do it without pausing the video. We got that clip installed. Make sure that we didn't make any of the other wires touch, any of the ground wire. Nothing is touching. That is good, good, good. Everything else looks really good in there. So. You run these out of the bottom, and the face plate should go on there with them hanging out. You shouldn't have to drill a hole or anything. But if I do, I'll cut out a little corner here and run it out. So, but before we do that, we're going to test it out. Pause the video and go turn the power on to the house and we will test it out here. Okay, we have the plate for the breaker box all back and installed. I didn't have to drill a hole for the wires to come out. I just kind of hung it here. It does have a thing for a screw. 
that you can connect it to the wall. I haven't done that yet. Um, because there are wires back there and I didn't want to screw a screw into the wall. It's easier just to kind of let it hang. So, and then here is the meter that comes with it. So, you can see how much power you're using. I'll turn a light on here and as you'll see it'll go up. It takes 10 seconds. I have it set on the fastest. So, there was that light went on. So it went up. Turn the light off and you'll see it'll go down. I think it should go down more than that, but maybe the refrigerator is cycling, I'm not sure. Oh, there it went. It takes 10 seconds. So, every point one is 100 watts. So right now we're using 479 watts, pretty much. So if we turn this on, it goes up to 497. Let's see, I think it might go a little higher. Oh, nope, that's what it goes to. Turn it off. Goes down to 477. So, it's pretty cool so far. I'll do a review of it after we have it all hooked up for our, like a month or two and let you know how it is. So, that's how you install the Effergy Home Hub uh, in your electrical box.